Uh, good morning. Welcome to Nichols Retirement Empire. You know how you guys wait on Friday? That's the way retired fishermen wait on Monday. That's right. We can't wait till Monday till all you people go home, stop fishing, get out of our way. Because this weekend this is the weekend we went on the Saturday. It was crowded, man. There were people everywhere. There was a big tournament. We didn't even know there was a tournament. We found out there was a tournament. It was and, a tournament. We didn't yeah, know. Huge tournament. And then today, we stopped by North Star Bait and Tackle to get our shrimp. And we paid the, uh, paid the, is she a ranger? What is she? Clerk. Clerk. We played the clerk. And she said, we'll see y'all later. And so we walked outside and we waited and waited. She just was just going to take our money and not give us our shrimp. <laughs> Can you believe that? And she watches my videos and she was going to treat us it. We went in there and we're like, what are you doing? And she's like, what? And we're like, we need our shrimp. She's like, oh. <laughs> so we've already had a fun start. And there are enough bugs out here right now. I don't know if y'all can see these things flying around. There are enough. So just this right here is enough for a video. But we're gonna try to catch some fish and add even more excitement. Oh, that's right. I should not, not be supposed to catch a fish on first cast. And you're supposed to catch first. Man, we're in trouble now. Today One little trout is cursed. <sighs> Ordinarily I wouldn't make this big a deal about this fish, about this small trout that us caught. But today, it's a big deal. that's a big deal right there now. That's what it's all about. That's what we came out here for. Apparently, is that one fish? <laughs> all right, in case we catch any more, I'm gonna video this fish that we were about to put in a live well that Chris just caught because today has been so slow we've been fishing six hours 11 days the first hour felt like three hours yeah, we're missing all the action today we're just not we can't fish or eat. great look at that are you videoing them yeah. i think see this is a smiling fish see his teeth Not acting like a trout though, it might be a sheep's. Nope, that is a nice trout. I didn't that. Oh. Let's go ahead and net him. I don't think he's huge, but I don't want to lose him. going to be a couple sandwiches. Thank you, sir. Yes. Hold now. Yes, sir. It only took us seven hours to <laughs> start finding fish. <laughs> they just started biting. Wow. You got a kale hook? Oh. You got a kale hook. I got a kale hook. I got a kale hook. Oh my gosh. Ah, a lot of action for a little fish. Smiley. Sheep's head. On a kale hook. And uh, we're floating fiddler crabs. Ouch! There we go. Something Chris said you shouldn't do float fiddler crabs. Oh, and now we're, uh, we're catching fish. Got one. And on this side of the boat, so I can do the Louisiana flip. You know, these things are just under the limit, but they are fighters and they're fat and they're good looking, healthy fish. Smart. Smart, and they have a great smile. I'm just telling you. Good personality. Just gotta let them go. Oh, oh, we gotta get away. I gotta get over here from the camera angle. Drill this fish in. There you go. Guys, we are doing something you probably will not see. Hey. Where else? <laughs> we, 
Float rig fishing. We need to just put this thing in front. Of this video. What we're doing. Nobody's gonna believe me. GoPro, stop recording. Now there. We. We're knocking off the whole entire tackle box. Uh oh. That's a, that's a nice way of telling me to close my tackle box. Okay. No more sheep said. Getting smaller, we're supposed to be getting bigger ones. I don't think they understand. I'll show you what we're doing, folks. Put a crab on a kale hook on a float rig, and you're never supposed to catch fish like this. But we decided we we're having such a bad day today that we're about doing anything. And uh, we've caught about eight now. Chris? Yeah, right. probably eight. Okay. Show them what you're doing, Chris. Show them what you're doing. Uh, oh, I'm just. Uh, I'm gonna let them watch this fish. Okay. We're, we're gonna. We are going to throw this little feather out. All right. On the float rig, just like this. Get it stabbed right in the middle. Right in the middle of its back. No exposed fish. We're just letting it float fast current. It's crazy. Somehow they're getting it. Somehow they're getting it. Oh, I just missed it. <laughs> oh, did you really miss it? Yeah, it was on cue, but it... Oh, I was trying. Oh. I got one. Somehow Chris got one. There we go. I can't believe we're catching these fish like this. Whoa. I dare you to go on YouTube and find somebody else that has caught sheep tail like this. It ain't gonna happen. Well, I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. If it is, I've never seen it. Not that there's anything to brag. Right, not like the ones that he missed, that he caught and didn't... Yeah, he did miss several nice ones. Yeah. I got a big sheep's head on this one. Take it off. I don't need you... <laughs> I don't need to be corrected on video, Paul. Uh, I keep telling my wife that. Don't correct me on video. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna catch it up. So he says... Oh, okay. I got that. Remember that big now fiddler crab? Had a Remember that big fiddler crab I caught? Look, how, look at that. I put him on the hook. Chris and I caught these yesterday night. They're wild. <laughs> They're wild fiddler crabs. Caught them in the wild. Caught them uh, putting a stick in uh, in a hole, and then they come out and we grab them. And uh, so we do a lot of work behind the scenes. We we'll probably need to video that next time we do it. We ought to. Uh -oh. Uh oh, oh, oh! I got him. He's got him. Oh! That's one of those ones that I was telling you about. Hey, that, that changed in the way that we hooked up. It did, yeah. It made all the difference in the world. I kept missing fish and missing fish. And then Paul said, he reached out his hand and said, let me help you. Let me help you, Let me help you, son. I'll show you guys something. See this crab? He's trying to break, he's trying to cut the line. Now you tell me these fit crabs aren't smart. He's reaching up there, trying to cut himself off the line. Sometimes they'll grab the float. Yeah. And hang on to the float because they know nothing can eat them if they're hung on to the float. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was funny. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Woo! Real damn tall. Reel it in. It may be a big one. No. Nope. He's just oh. a fighter. Oh, I had a bite. It's a black drum. What? On a fitter crab. Listen to him. Can you hear him? Drumming. He's drumming. I really don't think that's why they call him black drum. And I had a couple of good bites.
Didn't get it. Black drum. Say hi. It almost looked like Don Knox, don't he? On that one movie. They haven't had a sheep's head. They're about one of the best tasting fish out here. Would you say, Chris? They're very good. Very good. Absolutely one of the best. As good as any. I mean, as good as any. There's good trout. As good as a trout. Red. Red. Black drum. Anything. It's more of a picture book. Sounds. <laughs> oh! No. We missed two in a row. My answer to that. My answer is no. No. Dang, I can't believe it. We're running out of fiddlers. That's good times. You can't cut a fiddler in half. Yeah, that's where my bike's in. I got it. You got him? Yeah. I got the one that's been stealing Chris's. Nice one. <laughs> when he says nice, he means for an aquarium. It's a fine fish. What's so crazy is we were fishing with these earlier, out here the way you're supposed to, in a tree. Kind of still water, just a perfect situation. We couldn't hardly get a bite. And then this the current starts going. And we get this bright idea because we're about out of shrimp. There's sheep's head everywhere. Oh. There you go. Oh, come on. Give him one more chance. He's got him. That's all it took. Just gotta ask. You gotta ask nicely. You Sometimes can't. you gotta ask these fish. Uh oh. You gotta say, give me another chance. Just give me oh, another chance. Sorry. Sometimes you gotta ask forgiveness. Yeah. 